Hello everyone, my name is Stefan. I am a PM on the remote desktop services team. Today I want to walk you through a common scenario that I see with MSX AppAttach around the expired certificate and then also talk about the best practice which is to always timestamp your certificate. So let's first go ahead and see the problem and then we'll go and explore options for solving it. And after that, we're just going to talk a little bit about um, details here. First, we're going to go to the Azure portal. Here you can see I am in the Windows Virtual Desktop UI. I have selected the host pool. My host pool is healthy, meaning I have a, a VMs that are uh, in healthy status. So I'm going to go ahead and add a package. So I got this package from somebody. They were saying like, oh, it doesn't mount, doesn't stage. I'm not able to pass the point of the UI. And I'm like, okay, give me the certificate. They gave it to me. We did some troubleshooting. Then a few days later, I'm like, let me try again. Maybe I'll get some more insights. And then I got this error. I'm like, oh, what happened? What does this error mean? All right, a required certificate is not within its validity period. That made me think, okay, maybe there's something wrong with the certificate. So what I did, and what I recommend you to do is to go and check that certificate. So I'm going to go into my repackaging VM, open that uh, MSIX from which this VHD was created, and we'll take a look. So on my repackaging machine, I have found the MSX that I used to create my VHD. Click Properties. I'm going to go into the Digital Signature. I'm going to go click Details. Once the details are opened, I'm going to go and view the certificate and right here it says valid from. Well, today is uh, sometime in uh, June. This is certificate expired in May. So obviously it's invalid. So how do we fix this? Like what's well, stage two? So we saw what the problem is. Uh, we know why the UI is failing. Let's go and fix it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say edit with my MSX packaging tool. Here, I make sure I'm pointing to my new certificate. Now, the way I have configured my MSX packaging tool is to pick up certain defaults because I don't feel like setting them up every time I'm trying to repackage. And one of my defaults is to have a timestamp server. So the timestamp server does something very trivial. At the time of signing this package, it also adds a timestamp that says when we signed this package, the certificate was valid. So going forward into the future, if the certificate expires, please make sure to trust it because it was valid at time of signing. So this is the best practice that I mentioned. We need to have our MSX packages always timestamped. So I'm going to go and click save here. Yes, I would like to increment the version. That's a good idea. Now I've done this in the past few times. So I have packages here and you can see it's asking me, can, do you want to replace? I'm like, ah, sure, what's the worst that can happen? Now the MSX packaging tool is doing its magic. Okay, package signed. I'm going to say close. So I'm going to go to my desktop and see what's up there. Okay, I do see something created recently. That's perfect. I'm going to grab that path. Make sure it's correct here. And I'm going to run the expand command. So the prerequisites are there. Like I have to make sure that my MSX manager is downloaded. I'm pointing to the right place. I'm in the administrative mode. Uh, there's no destination files that uh, with the same name, the path exists. So with all that done and checked, I'm just going to run the command. And I have to make sure I pay attention. So. This is not .msx, this is just the name of the package. Right, um, so if you go into our destination, let's fix that. I cannot have a file with the same name. So what's my destination? I cannot have file named that. Since my environment and I heavily utilize it, I do expect it 
to have something there with that name. And I do have a few VHDs here. And I'm, I'm gonna run my command. And after that, we are back in the portal. And after running the command, we did successfully generate a VHD. Now we will need to grab the path to that VHD. So sold them by date right here on top. Copy as path and as mentioned, back to the Azure portal. In the Azure portal, we are right where we left. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. If we did everything correctly, we got a new error, but we got past the invalid certificate. So now with the MSX package containing an invalid logo, that will be the next uh, learning video that I'm going to do for us. So stay tuned. Thank you.